Hey everyone, since I just returned from my trip to California and I went to the American Girl Place LA, I was able to travel with my doll. So today I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to travel with your own American Girl doll. So let's get started. So the first and most important thing you're going to want to do is pick the doll that you're going to be going with on your vacation. I recommend choosing dolls with straight hair, like Kit, since her hair is easy to do. I don't recommend dolls like Caroline, who have crazy curly hair that would be a lot of work to do when you want to be enjoying your vacation too, not worrying about your doll's hair. I don't recommend a doll like Kanani or especially like Regan number 44. I highly recommend dolls. Molly would be pretty good. Her hair is not too hard to maintain. I, uh, Brooklyn is a great doll because she has a straight hair. But this little girl over here, she is perfect because she just has straight hair, just like Brooklyn, and it's easy as hair to do. So that will be your first step, picking the doll that is right for you and that you want to bring on vacation with you. So now that you've picked out your doll, you have to put her hair in a ponytail. This way it will prevent her hair from going crazy and getting tangled while you're traveling. Also a braid could be recommended as well. So make sure to always put your doll's hair fastened back just for to keep it safe. And yeah, you don't want anything to happen to their precious hair. So the next thing you're gonna wanna decide is if you're gonna put your doll in your checked baggage, your luggage, or you're gonna put her on in your carry-on. I recommend whatever you like. I personally was gonna put um, my doll in my luggage, but then I decided to put her in a bag. I put my doll in a backpack and I seated her in a backpack so that can work or these reusable bags are perfect because they're awesome. Your dolls can actually sit down right inside of them so they're safe just like that and her head is not peeking out at all as you can see. Or the American Girl also has those great travel bags that you can use. They are a bit pricey but it's just really up to you whatever you prefer. And now for when you travel with your doll, you want to make sure that their hair of course is pulled back like my doll's here is and they have kind of a loose outfit that isn't going to take up a ton of room in your luggage or get ruined. So I just have her in the Sweet Melody outfit and another important thing is to put your doll in like sneakers or runners because if you take your doll out on the flight, maybe you want to snap a few photos, whatever it may be, you want to keep your doll in shoes that are really tight and you see they're not going anywhere. These were really hard to put on so I know they're on securely. I don't recommend shoes like these ones here. These are Kanani shoes. These are just horrible and if you have them, you know, they fall off so easily. So that's what I recommend your doll wearing, something light and easy to take care of and something you don't really care that's going to get ruined. So the next thing you want to do is pack your doll's hair essentials because of course you want to keep that perfect hair while you're away. So what I have here is just a little makeup bag or you could use a plastic bag but I find this works really well. And so what you're going to do is what I bring is of course you're going to need your America Girl doll hairbrush or whatever hairbrush you use. You're just going to put it right inside there. And also a toothbrush. If you never tried a toothbrush, you need to really try a toothbrush on your doll's hair. It works wonders, so a toothbrush, it gets rid of all those flyaways. Then what you're going to want to bring is, of course, is a spray bottle if you have one. And of course, remember to put it empty with no water inside, especially if you put this bag in your carry-on luggage, because you cannot bring water on, um, on your flight, like once it goes through that conveyor belt, you can't bring liquids on. And also, if you put it in your luggage and it were to spill open, heaven forbid, it would ruin something in there. So I recommend, of course, an empty bottle, spray bottle. And last but not least, you want to bring, I keep my dolls and hair ties in this little Tupperware container thingy. I got a few little clippies just to pull back the hair and then a bunch of these little tiny hair elastics. So that is the hair accessories I recommend that you bring for your dolls. And then it zips up perfectly right in this little case. Easy to find when you need it and when you land. Now for the fun part, packing your doll's clothes. I have a few tips and tricks for you guys when it comes to packing the doll clothes. I recommend, depending on how long you're going for, one to three outfits. That's what I usually do, just, you know, nothing too crazy. I don't recommend bringing, like, crazy huge hats like these that are hard and are going to get bent during your vacation in your luggage or whatever bag you choose. I also, you can bring sandals, like I said, Kanani sandals are... An example of not, not really good sandals to bring but if you're going to just have your doll on your bed or something on your hotel room then these are great shoes then if you like but personally I won't be bringing any of those and if you're going 
don't also bring something huge and puffy and frilly like this that takes up so much room in your luggage and of course you're gonna want to buy stuff so you need that room for your stuff that you buy so yeah this is really something I don't recommend and you know if you have a favorite outfit or like retired clothes that you can't get anymore and if you spill something on it or get it dirty on your flight you know you wouldn't want that to happen so if you're going away somewhere sunny of course you need to bring your dolls bikini or bathing suit this one I got at a fair while I was in California and I am in love with it so you need to bring your dolls bathing suits a few tops depending on where you're going and of course shoes if you like um what I do is I just bring in these giant ziplock bags it's almost as big as the doll and I put all my clothes in there just like that and then this I don't put in my carry-on I put in my luggage so I just zip it up tight like this so the clothes are all easy to find and then I'll just put it in my luggage and bury it in with my clothes so nothing were to get lost. So lastly, if you are going to put your doll in your checked luggage, I recommend getting a towel or I have a sweater here and gently just wrapping your doll up in it. I know this looks really funny just to protect the vinyl so nothing scratches it and placing her in your luggage like so so she is nice and safe like a little bubby or you can just put her in your carry-on and she won't look as creepy alrighty so now all that's left to do is zip up your luggage put and put your doll in your carry-on or wherever you choose and you're ready to go happy travels everyone I hope you enjoyed this video as always and be sure to comment some tips and tricks you have for traveling with your dolls down below Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.